Um, here I will be demonstrating how and various stances to throw a discus competitively. And But before we can do that, you have to learn and understand the history of it first. Discus dates back all the way back to ancient Greece. This sport was awarded back then for precision, coordination, combination with physical strength of the athlete themselves. It was one of the earliest games before the Olympic Games in 1896. Said began back in ancient Greece in 708 BC. It was originally part of a pentathlon, which is a series of five events. A uh, pentathlon was uh, consisted of discus, jumping, running, wrestling, and javelin. Javelin also was one of the earlier events. The discus was made of various materials. It was made of lead, stone, bronze, and iron. And iron. Back then, the discs varied in all kinds of weights. They went from very heavy to very light. Now the discs are standardized to a certain weight for all to use for both male and female competition. The pretty much started development of the Olympic Games. The, the events were extended for a whole week, so that while there were 50 other events going on, javelin, all sorts of running events, 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, in distances for running. Uh, this is one of the first events added to the early Olympic Games in 1896. Also, the circles in which you stood before you threw varied in all sorts of sizes. They were very small, from about 24 to 27 inches, I think, to about 8 feet in diameter, which that was changed in 1954. Then the discus became standardized. They all had a certain weight based for men and or boys competition and female as well. There were uh, various types of styles in which they did it. There were hammer toss styles. There were a style that Clarence Hauser introduced. It was just uh, a spin basically. There's a hop, skip, turn, and a throw. In 1914, uh, American women joined the Olympic Games competitively and threw discus. Their discus was about 1K, which was about one, either one and a half pounds or three and three quarter pounds, I'm a little unsure. But today, the parameters have not changed very much, much at all. The 1904, they standardized the disc circle to be eight feet in diameter. Uh, the discs have become standardized, actually just one size fits all kind of things that you have to work with. Then there's just one same basic objective, just throw farther than your opponent using any style you've been taught, or however you choose. The throwing discus is globally competitive. The Olympic Games are uh, globally played by nations around the world. And people associate discus with the Olympic Games in ancient Greece. So right now, I'm gonna, although this is not really a discus, this is just a frisbee, same round uh, saucer type of an object. Basically, stances of all kind consists of just a basic open stance, you know, toe to heel, pretty open. Um, also, hand placement's important, considering determines where you can get your release point from. So, points should not be grasping it as if it's like this, because this will cause the disc to go either fall out right in front of you or to the audience where people you don't want to hit other people with a discus. So, basically always become relaxed. There's just your basic open stance at the front of the circle. Then if you so choose, there you step towards the back, 
you do the style that Clarence Hauser introduced, which is basically a spinning motion. You're using the centripetal force when you're rotating your body to keep the discus out in front of you. So as you make your hop step and then you turn, when you make this motion here, this is called boxing your shoulder. This will give you that extra, that explosive power you need to give you the extra distance. So it should all be one fluid motion. Very nice, it takes a ton of practice and a lot of skill to learn, but you can just about anybody can learn so long as you can teach yourself or have others teach you themselves, you know? And from my personal experiences, I've thrown a discus about 110 feet kind of a small person. So physical stature didn't really matter during the modern day. Just learning your release point and le learning and understanding the style that you're doing is a major advantage. Gives you a greater possibility to do well in competition. So, thank you guys.